light. It shines through the darkness and allows us to see everything around us. Being in the dark can be a scary thing. We can't see where we're going or what we're doing, and that makes it hard to live. However, thankfully with the invention of electric lights, we now live in a world where it is never completely dark. We have lights in our home so we can work and play at night, headlights on our car so we can travel at night, and even street lights in our neighborhood so we can be outside at night. 2,000 years ago, people didn't have electric lights. It was very dark at night, and work and travel tended to stop when the sun went down. So what did people have to light their way? That's today's lesson. Let's take a look. If you had lived during the time of Jesus, you would have been very familiar with one of these. This is a 2,000-year-old oil lamp, similar to the style used in Israel during the time that Jesus lived on the earth. They aren't very big. It could easily fit in the palm of your hand. Here's how the oil lamp works. You pour a little oil into the hole in the top of the lamp. This is the reservoir where the oil is held before it is burned to make the flame. Put a wick into the hole in the front of the lamp making sure it's soaked in the oil and light the wick. The oil used could have been olive oil or something similar, and depending on the size of the lamp, it could burn for anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple of hours before it needed to be refilled. Jesus speaks several times about these lamps and specifically about not covering them up. In Matthew chapter 5, Jesus tells people to be the light of the world. He says people don't light lamps and put them under a basket but instead put them on lampstands, allowing it to give light to the whole house. When you think of a lampstand, something like a candlestick may be what comes to mind. A lampstand was actually a small cutout in the wall of a person's home, just big enough to hold a small oil lamp. The cutout was generally high, so the lamp could provide light for the whole room. We have very similar practices today with our lamps and lights, sitting on tables high off the ground, or actually hanging from the ceiling. This provides the most light possible for the room. What's the application for us today? Clearly, we need to be a light in the world around us, whether it's to our classmates, our family, other people in our neighborhood. We should be keeping our lamps burning bright to keep the darkness out. The idea of hiding an oil lamp like this under a basket would have seemed like a ridiculous idea to someone listening to Jesus. It would have been a waste and the darkness would have made it impossible to work. Hiding our lights should seem ridiculous to us today. Hiding our lights and not being the examples of good in the world that we should be seems like a waste as well. Jesus wants us to do good in this troubled world. He wants people to see God at work through us Let's make sure we're letting our light shine so everyone can see Jesus in us.